Hi, this is Professor Wolber from AppInventor.org and USAP. The President's Quiz is about U.S. Presidents, but it's really a great template for any kind of quiz or survey you could think of. You basically slideshow through the app. So I'm going to click on the next button on the, the phone that's being projected over here uh, on the right. And it just kind of walks through the questions of the quiz. And when you get to the end, it, it puts the first question back up. All right. You can also answer. So if I type in um, some wrong answer, click answer, and then it the 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 app basically tells you whether you're you're right or wrong. And you, you'll you'll be able to fix this to make it exactly you know the kind of feedback you want to give your your user. Okay. You can repurpose this in many ways. You can change the questions and the media. And you'll notice we've got these lists which are, there's the answers, and uh, I'll drag these question lists over so you can see it. But we got the questions here as list variables. Okay, so you can change those. Um, but you could also do all kinds of things. You, know, you can make it a different topic. You can make it a study guide for your class. Um, you could make it so you add music and it's a name that tune app. Um, you might, might also add for kind of multiple choice. Right now, you have to enter the answer exactly um, to get it correct. So, so a multiple choice quiz would be great too. But you should really spend some time to understand the code in, in this app. It, it represents a big conceptual leap into programming. You're going to learn about list variables uh, like the questions and answers here and you're also going to learn how to use an index variable okay that kind of lets you walk through a list. So kind of when we click this next button we're grabbing the next question and there's some code to, to figure out how to do that. Um, so anyway it's a great app to to both use for building different apps, but also to learn learn programming. So have some fun. Um, make sure you get through through this, and if you really do it and really understand it, I, I think you can pretty much call yourself a programmer.